This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Joel Daly and Linda Yu, Jerry Taft with weather, Jim Rose on sports, and the Eyewitness News team. Computer enthusiasts from 60 countries are in Chicago this week for a giant computer show which is providing a glimpse into the future. Channel 7's Marianne Childers is here with more in medicine today, or should we say medicine tomorrow. You could really say that, Joel and Linda, because the focus of researchers here in Chicago this week is the future. They're looking at ways that medicine is going to change in years to come because of computer graphics. Now, even if you don't know a floppy disk from a megabyte, you're probably more familiar with computer graphics than you think, because you've seen a lot of them. The TV networks have been using them for years, but special effects like these and in movies account for less than 1% of the computer graphics industry. Its role in research, business, and medicine is spotlighted at SIGGRAPH, the second largest computer graphics show in the world this week in Chicago. SIGGRAPH features more than $100 million worth of the latest in high-tech hardware and software, and this exhibit is on the cutting edge. It may not look impressive, but there's more computer power tied to these terminals this week than at any other place in the world. Here, 40 researchers are simultaneously linked to a network of nearly a dozen supercomputers nationwide to generate graphics. Computers can handle large amounts of information, but humans can't. Half our neurons in our brain are devoted to visuals. Half our neurons can interpret visual pictures. Pictures don't replace numbers, but they give people a holistic view, a qualitative view of what's going on. They're studying everything from how giant tidal waves hit the coast of Japan to how the brain responds to stimulation. By making computer models like these, doctors can plan surgeries accurately before they ever make an incision or turn a laser on a tumor. But to really glimpse the future, step into the cave. It's a room built of screens on the walls and floors. Animated computer graphics are projected in stereo. When you put on special glasses, you enter another world. So it's like going on a trip somewhere, except our trips are to far-off galaxies or to the inside of molecules or to the inside of your own brain, for instance. In the cave, you fly with a plane over Chicago or study a seven-week-old human embryo in three dimensions. You see things too small to ever really see, like a cholera toxin infecting a host, or too big, like a galaxy. It looks real. It's called virtual reality. When you can see a molecule and you can see um, some black hole in the galaxy, I mean, I know what these things look like and yet they're not visible, they're not, they're not tangible, and computer graphics makes things more real to us. Well, unlike most trade shows, SIGGRAPH is open to the public. However, be warned, there is a $25 entrance fee. This show runs at McCormick Place North, that's the North Building, through Thursday. This is CNN. In recent years, researchers, designers, and artists have employed computer graphics to create images they once had to draw by hand. Now, new animation programs create graphics that just a few years ago could only be imagined. We get more on this story from CNN's Margaret Lowry. Computer graphics galore. Walk through them. Now you can move the table wherever you want to take it. Interact with them. Bond with them. At SeaGraph 92 in Chicago this week, the premier trade show for graphic artists, designers, researchers to display their wares, pioneering technologies breaching new frontiers from simple to surrealistic. In this virtual reality cave, for example, created by University of Illinois researchers, you can walk through a snowstorm by combining projection and virtual reality. You are inside the model and you can sense everything. It's like an alibi experience. You're just floating around and it's almost like it's right in front of you. Kind of like looking into the Viewmaster stereo things, except for the fact that it moves around with you. Things don't look like little cardboard planes, but you really feel like they're in the space with you. As computer graphics become more sophisticated, so do their applications. In education... The three-dimensional reconstruction of a seven-week-old human embryo in medicine what do you think architecture simulations are within two and a half percent of the results from the physical model a peek around the virtual corner at the reality of graphics to come margaret lowry cnn chicago